Welcome back into the closet. Hey, what's up? That you're distant. I'm busy. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm trying to organize stuff. It's the night before we're going out of town. You're going to have to give me a break. Yeah. Okay, fine. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> breaks anyway so tell them about this big trip we're getting ready to take it's the one day a year that i actually legit 100 percent look forward to yes it is it's um it's time for fantasy football fantasy football time it's fantasy football time it's um, we're coming into season Let's think here. Oh, With this know. crew, we started 2005. So what? 2005? Season 14. Oh, season 14. My gosh. So going into the season 14 season, ready to defend my title from last year. Oh my gosh. Where I so, won another championship. Last year, when he went on this trip, we had just started this podcast. And I remember podcasting by myself for the first time when you were going oh, you to the trip. Oh, you got because, stuck here. Because I didn't get to go. Because That's I right. didn't have anybody to keep the kids, keep control over the kids. So I stayed here. And I think that's the first time that's ever happened that I've stayed here and you've gone. And I did a podcast by myself. And I think it was Girls Night Out in Charleston that night. It was just like I was in my bag that day. I mean, not really, but I didn't get to go. So this year I get to go. Knock on wood. And knock on wood. I mean, we still have what? 12 hours before 12 we hours, leave town. Yeah, and, and I never feel here. safe that I'm literally out of town until I'm like two hours out. Once I'm two hours out, unless it's a major catastrophe, I'm out and uh, my mom's in. That's me. Unless until it's I major. hit that Kentucky line like last year, I was right. like cruising down down the interstate right. at 85. Like I got to get across the Kentucky line. And then it's like yes. I can't come back. I'm a state I'm away. I'm gone unless obviously it's a major thing. So yes, anything could happen in 12 hours. I realize this, but yes, we're getting ready to go because I dropped Jeff up on tomorrow night, Friday night at wherever. I don't even know. And I will probably Shake Shack. I think I might meet some people okay. there. I will not see him again till Sunday morning and I'll limitedly, limitedly. There'll be limited communication. Limited communication, which is fine. I mean, I love you, but we don't. We're not. I just we're want not to make a, sure you're okay psycho. a couple of yeah. times a day. Like, hey, I'm gonna how check are you on doing? you. Tell you good night. You might want to check on me because I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna be out oh, roaming oh, the streets by myself, keeping me on Here's edge. Here's the thing. Keeping me on edge. Here's the like. I can't even talk about this without just smiling ear to ear because I never have a day in the entire in the entire year to myself. Now you think Mother's Day, you think birthday. Yes, this is true. However, there's still people around me. There's still people low key right near me that will need something on that day. On Saturday, they're going to be seven, eight hours away. And I'm not going to have a husband. Well, you are. He's just not going to be with you. I know Let's that. Make sure Do you, you understand. I obviously know that. I'm just <laughs> saying. And it's going to be glorious. It is every year. I have all sorts of things in my head that I may do. I'm not sure if I'm going to do, but I do know I'm going to find a gym with a hot tub, a um, steam, room. steam room, a sauna, a pool, and a workout room. And I'm going to do all of it. And I might circle back day. around and do all of it again. I hear you. I will be there probably four hours or more. And then I'm going to have a hotel room. Now, what else I do? Who knows? I'm supposed to meet my old boss for a drink. That's right. Last time I went and did this, I got a tattoo. I may come back with, uh, who knows? Who knows? It, it's crazy. It's fun, and I can't wait. I can't either. Oh, I know you can. It's it's a party. It is. It's a weekend. It's definitely purge weekend. It just purge weekend. Just just the one weekend a year, you get with your boys and you just have fun. Play right. poker. Have some beverages, adult beverages. I think it's funny because you go, go down out. You go down for the weekend and you're with a bunch of people, and I go down for the weekend and I'm by myself. I know it's so funny. It is funny, and we both get as much enjoyment out of it. That's I think, true. As the other. Yeah, we do. Except when I get you on Sunday, I'll probably be well rested. I don't know, unless I have a wild night, and you will be not, not as well, well rested. rested. No, right. No, it'll be a long. So, long, long Friday and Saturday. And Saturday night. And um, you are bringing home 
a trophy, which we've talked about this trophy before on this podcast because you won last year. Yeah, I had the trophy. We had the trophy. I won it in back to back in 2011 and 2012. So I had it when we first moved back here. And then I had to take it back down in 2013. Thank goodness. Um, but this will have, I'll have get get the the old uh, my name on it for the fourth time. If we're going all the way back to 2005, it should be five times. But who's counting? Um, so Why wasn't it on there 2005? The trophy we didn't start doing the trophy thing till 2009. Oh. So then we start putting plaques on the trophy in 2009. So I wanted in 2009, 2011, 2012, and now, wait, no, I want it in 2000, 2000, we started in 2008 because I'm on there twice. 2008, 2009, I won it back to back. Then I won it again in 2011, 2012. Wow. And then I just won it again. So you're due to win this 2000 year. And usually when I win it, it's a two-year situation. Gotcha. So we'll see. We'll, well see how that goes. You know what? Good luck to you. It's going to be fun. It's a fun draft night. I mean, we set it up. We'll, we'll talk about it when I get back, but some of it, you know. Well, you know, I mean, you know what you're kind of going to do, right? You all got a house. We got a house. Yeah, we got a house down in Midtown Atlanta, somewhere in there. Why did you get a house? Because it's easier. Nate, Nate, Nate's the man. He had he had something where he got one of those. What are they? The V. What What are they that you can get the? I don't know. The houses. Um, I, I I don't know. I'm not. You know what? What hip. is it like? Like Meg was doing it at the beach like with her bed house. Bed and breakfast. You, well, it's not. It's a, now it's online. It's like you can go. Anybody can do it. They can basically rent their house out on weekends, or if oh. they have one. And Nate, Nate said it's cheaper for twelve of us to split this nice house, and all of us have share. Like me and Jonathan are roommates, and all of us share rooms, than to freaking get a hotel in Buckhead. True. And get like because. Is it going to be like stay. a frat? Are you gonna, y'all going to be frat house style? Is it going to be a wild party? It's going to be a wild party. I, I doubt it's going to be frat house style. I mean, I'm just asking. It's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, our big poker tournament tomorrow night. Once we get once we get done having beverages or whatever we're doing, they're having boat day tomorrow, and you're missing that. Yeah, that's the problem with being so far away. That they're yeah, they're was, all planning and they're ramping up to get out on the boats. Yeah. So they're going to be on Lake Lanier tomorrow morning by I'd say nine thirty or ten. They're going to be on the boat drinking beer, hanging out. I think it'd be fun for them for y'all to do it day. here one year. Everybody is not coming to West Virginia. But if they'll go somewhere else, they haven't. But you all were talking about it. Yeah, like Vegas, like somewhere like exotic, not. West oh, Virginia. From sites that I've seen around here, this place is exotic. <laughs> I went to freaking Buffalo Wild Wings tonight, and there's a dude sitting in the corner outside at a table just knocked. He was snoring, man. Knocked. And then, same location, Buffalo Wild Wings, <coughs> we see this lady walk in, and I'm not even kidding you because I can't make this up. I don't know what she had, what shirt she had on. Her hair was blonde. It was teased. She had on a short skirt with ruffles at the bottom, and then she had on... Ladies, you're going to know what I'm talking about. I forget what they're called. But we used to wear these socks with our patent leather shoes. They're white. And, like, you pull them up and then you you fold them down and there's ruffles around them. She was wearing those socks. Now, I don't know if she was in a play. I don't know if she was in some sort of show or something. But she definitely looked a certain type of way. She, and it wasn't it, it did, was creepy it, she yeah. did not fit it was definitely in creepy at all a little creepy right somebody's in our bathroom i know i hear i hear them why does that i mean is it like it's like if we start podcasting everybody they we won't see them literally we were just we were just in our room for an hour i know do, I, doing I know. all this stuff know. Know. and I know. I know. nobody i know as soon as we turn on this microphone well, i don't know our life it's like people just come gravitating towards towards the podcast closet same way it's same way at night when like we go around all evening scurrying around doing dinner cleaning up doing showers all this stuff nobody's nobody's around nobody's bothering us and the very minute we sit down in our room and shut the door to start watching tv and chilling out 
every freaking 10 minutes, there's somebody at the door, which is why I'm so super excited to be leaving in 12 hours. Get you a little break from the, from the chaos. Hopefully. So to speak. But anyway, what are you scrolling on your phone? You talked to me about scrolling I was looking on for my a phone topic to, during a to podcast. Talk about We're talking. Podcast. I mean, what, what do you want? I just was looking for something to feed off of. So you're sitting here. You reprimand me when I'm scrolling Mine was on in the sake phone. of this podcast in so the closet. So maybe some of mine is too. Oh, really? Yes. Do tell. Well, sometimes I do scroll around because I'm trying to find quotes or something like that. Cool. You know what? So. What did you find then? I didn't. I put my phone down. because oh, you have re- you, you re- forever. You had to have found something. I just got in there trying to find something. It's, there's a lot of stuff to go through. <laughs> well, okay. To try to find did something. Did you not find something? No, no. I, oh, I my didn't. There's all kinds of stuff. I just don't know what you. if there's something you would like to talk about. If or... there was something I wanted to talk about, I would have already talked about it. I just run my mouth. I just open my mouth and words come out. Yeah. You know what I had today at Starbucks for the what? first time? You didn't watch my story, did you? It was on my story. Yeah, there are little things. There's a little snack you had there on the table in a wrapper. I don't know if they were egg treats they or something. Were egg treats. They look like little I'm, egg treats. You act like I'm a dog. That's what they looked like, dog, they, eggy doggy they treats. They were egg, like egg muffins like I make, but they were eggs with bacon in it. Eggs with That's bacon. That's all it was, was eggs and bacon, and there was two of them. And they were delicious because today is low-carb day because I'm carb cycling. And I needed something to eat, and they pulled through for me. So you see, you can find something that fits in your meal plan anywhere, any restaurant, any gas station, anywhere. But people just choose not to. They just think, well, I'm at the gas station, therefore I need to eat gas station food. I'm at the bar, therefore I need to eat bar food. No, that's not how it works. Tonight we were at Buffalo Wild Wings, and I got a cheeseburger. Look good. And without the, so I got it without the bun because it's low carb day. Even if it were high carb day, I wouldn't eat that bun because it's the wrong kind of carb. So I got that. And then instead of the french fries, I got a salad and without dressing. And I used some of the Asian zing sauce, just a zing. little bit. I just dipped my fork in there. I didn't like go crazy. It. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a decent meal and I was at a restaurant. So you don't always have to go straight for the bad food at the restaurant. Right. You do not. But sometimes people it's go... It's hard to not. Sometimes people go straight to the salads, and that's where you might mess up. Because sometimes those salads, I'm boring Jeff to death because he's rubbing his eyes, yawning. I just need to put this information out there. You know what I had on my face? Not to interrupt you, but you know when I pulled in the garage, I looked up and I saw right here this line. What? Wing, wing sauce. <laughs> right there on my <laughs> eye. Like on my eye and You're this, my mess, temple. You're a mess, buddy. You're a mess. Anyway, some people go straight to the salads, and that may be a bad move. It is a bad move. It's not always. But sometimes if you get one of these big old salads, you're like, ooh, I did good. I ate a big old salad. You might have eaten more calories and more and more fat and more carbs than if you would have just eaten, like, a piece of grilled chicken and some steamed vegetables. Yes. So salad isn't always the answer, people. It's not. Especially some of those dressings. Dear Lord, right? I know. That's why it's best just to get... Something on the side and dippy dip your fork in there. Dressings and croutons. Croutons came out of my salad tonight. Mm, I know I ate them. Some of them anyway. See, Jeff's not as strict as I am on his. On his some meals. days I am, but then there's some days I just I just am like, okay, I'm good. More, more 80, days than not, you're. Uh, oh, that's uh, bull crap. Do more not, days do than not, not throw this eighty twenty on me. Boy, you're full of crap. You're more like sixty forty and don't lie. It is lie. not, Jeff. You are full of crap. I eat good every day until but one day about a week. nine o'clock at night, and Never. then I hear the chip. Ba- do you want me to call the kids in here? I don't eat chips every night, Jeff. You eat. You don't. Come on, 80-20? I do 80-20. No, Bull. you do not. You do 98-2. No, I don't. You don't ever eat anything. But you yes, eat I do. You eat one cheat meal a week. Meal. One. You don't eat even cheat days. Yes, I do have cheat days. I'm fixing to have a cheat weekend, I and do, I had a cheat I weekend eat last week. good. Don't even get 80 80, 75% of the time. I'll go with that more. I do the Where I do the intermittent fasting, I don't eat until 3. But you don't I always don't eat, eat the bad. best Jeff. I don't. Yes, sometimes you do. What did you have tonight? Sometimes. What did you have tonight? I know. I told you it was cheat weekend. Oh, it it's tonight. Thursday. Okay, well, the weekend started. 
But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're you're way more lax than me. Like, I'm not going to start cheating until the actual time. Well, and I usually don't. Jeff, there has been so many nights that the kids and I have been sitting up here and we're like, listen. I'm like, listen, y'all. And it's like, crumble of a bag, crumble of a bag. And we're like, and then you don't answer us. Like, <laughs> like if I don't answer, I'm not doing it. I'm like, Jeff. So Jeff. I get a handful of checks mixed. Like, mix. The kids checks are like, going to hurt anybody. The kids are like, Dad, hey, Dad, and we know you're down there. We know it's you, and they're like, "Well, I didn't do it." <laughs> I mean, I don't care what you eat. I'm just trying to Listen, call you out because I know it's not eighty yeah, twenty. That's bull. That's part of my eight, my twenty. Jeff, that's a big twenty. Whatever, it's a handful Jeff, of Chex Mix. That ain't gonna hurt nobody. Eighty twenty. I don't is, get enough calories. I need that extra. You Chex don't mix. need that type of calories. But it ain't gonna hurt me. It's it's just filler. I'm done with you. <laughs> Look, I'm feeling good. Like, I'm leaning down. You're fine. And if you feel great, that's fine. But don't sit here and tell me you eat 80-20. It's close to 80-20 on a good week. 70-30. On a good... Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take I it. Thought, you're 30. such a liar. Yes. We negotiated the hell out of that one. <laughs> I got it, man. Not that I care what you eat. I'm just saying. I don't care what you eat. You can get on pound some pancakes for all I care. No, nah, I don't want to do that to myself. I don't want to feel bad. But some chips here and there don't make me feel bad. What about now, those big old buns you ate tonight? Those make those can those could make me yawn. Oh yeah, I see. You know what I'm saying they can put me down. I'm not used to eating them. <laughs> 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 you act like I eat burgers and stuff all the time. I'm just saying. once a week maybe. Chef, <laughs> when was the last time I had a freaking burger? Saturday. <laughs> okay, but that was last week. Once a week. It's Thursday. You said I'm going to eat anything else the rest of the weekend. You just said you're having cheat weekend starting tonight. It's true because we're going to Atlanta and I got to have good freaking food. So it's more than once a week usually. No, usually okay, it's I'm not. I'm going to chart it. I'm going to start making a chart. You're lying. You're lying to yourself. You're in denial and it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. I just am trying to call I you out good. on your life. I feel good about Fake my weeks. News. I literally every That's night. Good. You know what I do I'm most saying, nights? I'm not saying you shouldn't. I ate a peanut butter and and. I eat a peanut. Usually at three, I'll eat either a piece of chicken with nothing, or I'll eat peanut butter and honey on wheat, and then I'll eat whatever we eat for dinner together, and that's it. Most days a week, that's all I have. That's most not enough. Week. But that's I'm, I, I'm most days a week I don't eat chips. I'm gonna just be quiet. <laughs> Maybe once or on the weekend when I'm like what? I don't care. On the weekend because that's no, your twenty percent. Because your eighty percent is the Monday through Friday, and then your twenty percent Saturday and Sunday. Okay, uh, whatever. Which that math does not work probably. Whatever, but whatever, I'm, whatever. That's, that's I'm just that's saying. Hefe math. Right, exactly. To make it work in your favor, math. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Look at this. But if that's all you eat, I'm calling you out for not eating enough. I know. I need to eat more. And what's going to happen if you don't eat enough? I'm going to die. Jeff, no. Do well, you, am I going to die? No. Do you not? Okay, Brooke. Do you not listen to my videos? I do. I do. I'm putting it out there. If you don't eat enough, uh-huh. you're going to get yourself into trouble. Oh, that like with reverse stuff. With leaning out. Yes. Yeah. If you keep eating that few calories, that is not enough for your activity am level. Am I going to get fat? You're, you're going to start storing fat. Your results are going to come to a halt, Ooh. and every, whenever you do, whenever you, you're going to store fat, store fat, store fat, so you're going to blow up, and then when you try to slim it down again, you're going to have to dip below the amount of calories that you're That's eating now. That's true. So I'm telling you. going to be like, yo, man, we got we to keep you alive. We need to store some fat. So you're 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 shooting yourself in your foot by only eating. I'm not trying to not eat. That doesn't even sound like 2,000 calories, and that is not enough I'm for not a guy trying. like you. I'm, I'm not trying to eat. Yeah, you are. Because no, it's you, just easy. Jeff, you, you, you ha- yes, you are. It doesn't matter if you're trying or not. You have to eat. So that means you have to make stuff and take it with you. You're just like, don't get me started. I'm treating you like one of my clients. You have to make the effort to do it. You can't just sit around and say, oh, I need to do this. Yeah, it's probably not enough. I need to do this. And do the same thing week after week after week after week. You have that's to make why, an effort. I, you're, that's why I have a wife. Don't even s- make my stuff for me. <laughs> can't you like pack it and stuff? Like pack me some nice stuff up? That's some bullshit. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I pack my lunch, I pack Nate's lunch, and that is it. And actually, he is getting to the point where I shouldn't even pack his. Everybody fend for their self in this house. The youngest kid in this house is almost 12. This is some bull crap, and I'm not doing it anymore. And no, I'm not packing your lunch. I almost starved to death because of you. If you tell me what you want me to meal prep, I will throw it in with my meal prep on Sundays. But 
over my dead body am I packing your lunch? Can we can we meal prep and then pack it in containers together to Maroon Five? Yes, that sounds so romantic. Okay. I'm in on that. Cool. It's together a candle with a good like smelling candle. Together, yeah, with some wine. Some wine. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Together, though. Because I don't want to die. I don't want I, you to stand there at my funeral and people, and they go, <laughs> how'd this man die? His wife wouldn't cook his lunches. She wouldn't pack him his good meals. Oh, don't put that on me. I, know, I She will wouldn't not do for... it. Now look at him. He fell over because he was so wobbly because you know he was nauseous say? and he You know what I would eat. say? He fell over outside in the street and cracked his head on the concrete. I would say not my fault. He has two hands, ten fingers, two legs, two feet, ten toes. And they've been like, yep, and none a of them work. And a brain. And you can make your own lunch. I'm not living in that day and age where the women pack all their lunches. That was a neat day. I work. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. What, next thing you want me to do is put on a, a dress and wear pearls and come to the door and be like, Hey, Jeff, your dinner's on the table. Hmm. Okay, fine. You really want me to no, do that? I don't. I don't even own do a do damn that. pearls. I can give you a pearl necklace. I bet you can. <laughs> Listen, you get me fired up because you know oh, I'm not about so that way. Fun. I am a team player, and I just said I will prep your food for you, but I will not. I'm pack a team it. player too, but your future husband might not be, and I'm trying. Then to he's help not going to be my future husband. I won't marry Good someone girl, like that. You pass the test. I won't marry someone like that. You pass the. I test. will date someone long enough for their real colors to come out. So they got the funeral. It's like, hey, baby. I cook my own lunches. I pack my own I'll be lunches. like, sweet, let's 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 circle back around in a year. <laughs> You're like, give me give me three weeks. Let's Hit circle me back up. around. I'll be ready. Right. Because <laughs> it takes time for somebody's true colors to come out, I think, in relationships. Everything's all wonderful and going everywhere. And it's just, you, then one day you hit this, this dead so end. So wait, wait, wait. What I'm hearing is, so you're going to see him for a year and then you're going to figure it out. So you're going to start dating him at my funeral? I'll start dating him at your funeral. I'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree to go on a date. Because I'll probably be sad and, and lonely. Oh, my so. gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm joking. You know what? I'm joking. You can't make decisions when you're mourning. I'm Big, you can't do it. Joking. you got to give yourself 12 to 18 months before you can make a decision. I'm not waiting 12 to 18 months to go on a date. <gasps> well, I'm not. If you I'm wouldn't either. Dead? I wouldn't expect you to. If you were dead, I wouldn't be able Don't to move me. for two years at least. Oh my gosh, you're making me want to. You're so I would so roll dumb. around in my broom. I probably wouldn't even go to sleep. I mean, I probably wouldn't even go. To, I would probably be asleep about twenty hours a day. And when I was awake, I would just like just roll around and suck my thumb and say your name. It would be awful. And That's pathetic. About eight months in, I'd start to get up and you eat know, cereal wouldn't. again and. Then I'd hear you in my ear going, 80-20, yeah, 80-20, yeah. Is that how I sound? Yes. I'm just saying, it takes a while for someone to learn somebody's true colors and they start dating them. Oh, good two years. You got you to get in the fight. We've said this before. You got to get in there and you got to sling it. You got to go 12 rounds. You got to knock each other down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for real. You got to know if you're able to deal with the person in real life, not just in foo-foo land where you want everything to be right because when you want everything to be great. I want to go back to foo-foo land. Foo-foo land. Where's um, that foo-foo land at? I agree with you, but I'm just saying, like, y- yeah, you have to uh, date with some- You have to date somebody. I almost am a proponent of living with somebody. Seeing how they really are, I mean, probably want to date them for quite a while before you live with them. I would give it a week or two. Yeah, you I'm probably just kidding. would. I'm joking. Golly, take a joke, everybody. <laughs> Jeez, take a but joke. This I'm not going to go on a date with somebody at your funeral. Thank. I'm um, telling. So you know, I'll, I'll just give him my number and be like, "Hit me. me up tomorrow." Don't ask me. It's a funeral, me. dude. Hit me up tomorrow. <laughs> like really? <laughs> anyway, what'd you find? Well, this is something that my friend who's sick like me sends me. We send each other really. Wait, so you are sick? You know what I mean. Sick in the head. Like, like not right. I was like, you did not tell me. I didn't know you were sick. No, don't get excited. Not right. Why are you doing that to me? Not right. Okay, go ahead. So it goes along with this, which is kind of wild. But she sent this to me today, and it says, it's from Reddit. It's r slash ask Reddit or something. And it's, it's a question that people have to respond to. And it says, you can have sex with one real person from all of human, human history. 
who is your ultimate lay? Oh. And this user says, I'd like to have sex one more time with my wife who passed away from cancer nine years ago. Oh. My body yearns for hers. The ultimate downside to finding, in parentheses, the one is she may die young and leave you wanting. And then the next person responded, I also choose this guy's dead wife. <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> That's awful. She must have been so good. Oh. You think that's funny, huh? I think it's. Just, I <laughs> sat in my chair in my office and laughed so hard. Oh god! I think the wrongest things are funny. Yeah, you really kind of do. I do. You really do. You're the one that when we play like Cards Against Humanity and it's like really, it's like a really gross card, and I am not uptight. But some of those cards, I will not say like when it talks about because. Um, let me try to think of one. Like, I don't even remember what it was. Something about incest with your—I don't know something. And I, I can't go there. You think it's hysterical? Oh, I love that stuff. I think it's, here's I think why. it cracks me up. It's like the whole reason to play in the game. I know. And you guys I, and all these people are like, no, I can't do no, this no, because no, no, it involves no, no. children. They hand it back I, over. No, I. But I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with that because there's some of them I won't use either because. I don't know if the people that I'm playing with have you gone through that, and it's going to strike a weird chord. You can't when worry gets, about that. You're playing do, a game, though. and it's funny. I do. I, and they're playing I put, the game. I put certain cards to the side every single time. If it has to do with, like, sex and kids or something, yeah, I'm done with that. I'm not, I am not. I don't know. That's just me, I, and I'm not an uptight person. You can give me any other card no, you No, you're want. not uptight. I'm all. really not. You're not. No, you're but not But when uptight. it comes to that kind of stuff, I draw a line. But Jeff thinks it's hysterical. Oh, I just can't wait to use it at the perfect time. There's no perfect time for a few of those. <laughs> I put only like three aside. I need to try to remember which ones those were. I want to play that game. Can you play that one-on-one? And no. own your skills? No, you can't play it with just two people. Let's have the neighbor. Let's have Saddam and his You're not supposed to say over. that. It's... Bo- <laughs> you just messed it up. Sorry. No, let's um. We are good. We can have some people over, and we can play it on the podcast, like Butch and Lisa. Oh, that'd be fun. That they would be fun I to play. I think with. that he's. I think we're shooting for the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth okay. Saturday. That'd be next weekend. I also ran into Joshua at the gym. He wants to be on again. We have a lot of guests we need to line up when we get back from this trip. We need to just say this day every week is guest time. Maybe I'll on work on the closet. So, so on the closet. In the closet, and Butch wants to bring somebody. Who? I don't know. He said a, a buddy of his. It's his, it's on his bucket list. To oh be on my the podcast. gosh! Last and time I'm he like, brought a buddy, we were up until two a.m. in oh, our room hammered. drinking and eating, and then Jeff lost the podcast, and we can't get the guy back. He lost it into editing land, and it was so good. I mean, was we were literally up until two a.m. doing the podcast half lit. I don't remember well, them you, leaving. Well proves my point right there you you all were way gone i was fine but well, maddie guys, was making pizza rolls and bringing them up to us it was a great podcast but we don't know where it is well i edit it differently now so it'll be better next time but if we can when people back. roll up to your house at eight nine o'clock on a wednesday night with liquor wanting a podcast yeah, and bad. they're and they're both black belts and everything you listen to them. And one's a Navy SEAL. You're like, whatever you want, man. Good thing that podcast is lots, because we weren't supposed to say that. We weren't supposed to talk about that stuff. But we didn't right. say anybody's name. That's what I, what's what happened, though. I had to go in, and like I was editing all that stuff, and somehow I deleted it. we kept it. talking, because, you know, you I get, mean. You're drinking, you're doing shots. And, and, and he's like, we can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. So we're having to note the time. Yeah, it was a mess. But anyway, so maybe it's better off that um, we lost it, so we don't have some sort of. FBI agents at our door taking our podcast down. I don't know. But anyway, I'll work on that Sunday on our drive home. If you're in a shape enough to drive us home, I'll work on working on our guests. Guests. Okay. I'm down. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm done. Are you done? I'm totally done. All right. So when we get back, we will be updating on this trip. And, and I'm sure we'll have some good stories from Jeff. We may have some good stories from me. From me. We could have some very good stories from both of know. us. I should take the podcasting stuff and podcast by myself. Probably you could happen. do it. I should take it and podcast with David. You guys should podcast. But wonder where we would podcast, We just have though. to set up. Hmm. 
That's a thought, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. At the Friedenbonder office. We definitely could. In the conference room. We definitely could. I'll or, think about that. Or hit Stone up and tell him and Tasha to podcast with you at their I studio. I just do a podcasting they, tour. They're, they're right there at the exit you're staying, basically. They're like an exit down. Ooh. I might just do I a would podcasting like to. tour. I'd like to go talk podcast with him because oh. he got Icon Studios. It'd be I nice to go over there and sit well, in a freaking I studio will. and just. I've been there before. Just freaking podcast. That'd be freaking money. Been there before. I think they've redone it since I've been in there, though. Probably. That's when I've dropped my That was a long time single. ago. Dropped my single, my track. <laughs> you dropped something? Dropped it. I dro- yeah, I, I dro- dropped it. Like You dropped your CD on the floor. Why would you take it in with no. you? No. You're an idiot. I want to sing there and like they auto-tune my voice and make me sound amazing. Just podcast. Okay. I promise. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. We'll see. We'll see hey, what happens. I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea. All right. All right. Peace Bye. out. <laughs>